And let's get this game started. Ba -ba -da -da. So last we left off, we went to save Blackthorn, who we thought was dead, from a nuclear crater after uh, the uh, Tiberius Rancor launched a nuke at him to kill him because the NCR in California wanted him and uh, Kimball dead. And so they used Rancor to do that. And then Rancor ran away from us after we tried to kill him and stopped him from doing that. And the NCR California branch sent stuff at us to kill us. And we killed them. But then we went to get uh, Blackthorn from the bunker he was in during the nuclear blast that apparently saved only him and no one else, which is complete bullshit. We saved him only to get on a vertebrate that has Rancor on it, who shoots Blackthorn, kicks him out, and then we jump out of the vertebrate as well, break our legs and shit, and wander deliriously through the frost until we find a wolf that leads us to a watchtower with a ham radio. We get in touch with uh, AJ. She comes and picks us up and we find out that the wolf was really, um, I forgot his name, one of the wolf pack. And uh, we kind of just go and discover that we have a couple of allies that want to also help take down Rancor because they trust us and stuff like that. And that's where we left off. So here we have uh, Hector Clemens, we got Gray, and we got Tuner. Uh, if you remember uh, Tuner, we decided to let live up on the space station, even though he betrayed us. Gray, we believed, wasn't the traitor. And uh, Hector Clemens, we let live while we were assaulting the uh, nuke missile thing that Rancor tricked us into doing, uh, and all that good stuff. And then, of course, AJ, who we saved, and... Honestly, I don't understand how any of this would have happened if we did not save AJ in the tunnel after we rescued her. It's weird. Anyway, AJ. Are you ready? We have little time to waste. So how exactly are we getting on the Liberator? We'll try landing on it and hope they don't shoot at us on sight. If they do fire upon us, we'll take out their turrets. We'll avoid killing any troopers if possible. But Rancor needs to be stopped by any means necessary. What happened with you after we split up from Sacramento? Rancor's first recon buddies caught me before I could make it back to Camp Phoenix. They threw me in the prison, but I managed to escape while freeing a few other prisoners. I even managed to get your gear back. I then hijacked this vertebrate and shortly afterwards picked up your radio signal. I'm just imagining her carrying, like, the six guns that I have, the armor, all the bullets and stuff, and just, it's great. All right, cool, let's go. I'm right behind you. Very convenient that all this happened to fall in her lap, of her getting all my stuff back and all that. Also, imagine one vertebrate taking over this helicarrier kind of thing that is supposed to be, like, a stronghold that they planned to, like, lead from. And just one one group of, like, five people managed to take it down, right? So, oh my god, there's another fucking flight scene when I'm in a fucking vertebrate. Vertebrate requesting permission to land on our airship. They claim to be first recon with urgent news. Shoot it down. Uh, are, are you sure? Blow it out of the damn sky. Opening fire on vertebrate! Uh, no, oh, you sons of bitches. Ascend with space, descend with left control, fire missiles with left click, right click, accelerate is W plus shift, which I don't understand. Be careful when using god mode or other, oh wait, am I still in god mode for some reason? No, I'm not. Why did it warn me then? Ugh. What am I shooting at here? Uh, left 
control of the mountains. Where are my missiles? Read and reload it, okay. Uh, another one of these fucking episodes, god damn it. Can I just like sit right here and destroy this? No. You're gonna come at me from apparently nowhere. What am I doing? Just destroying turrets? Is that the goal here? Like, let's just land, and I'll fucking do all this, like... <sighs> Great. Be careful, you just got... What? what do you mean? I'm not in God mode. What if I just fucking stay away from it right now? Or like, is it time that I'm gonna constantly be set upon by, like, Jesus Christ? Okay, fuck. Might as well just fucking die, I'm already at half health. Fucking things are way too accurate. well quit warning me of that you sons of bitches can't tell if I'm hitting the thing for now or not like I think that's right around where it's at. A little closer. I'm gonna go down a little bit though. Ah, oh, I managed to kill it. Okay, cool. What? Really? This vertebra just came right out from underneath the uh, thing, huh? Okay. Turns down. Right, all right. No one else around me. Let's go in for a couple more turrets, maybe. Come on, destroy the bastard. It's coming. Am I hitting it? I can't tell. Can't really strafe in this, which sucks a lot. And now I can, okay. But not before, I don't know why. Come on. Really? What do you mean? Hey, Blackjack. Thanks for the subscription. Uh, 
How many shots is it going to take to kill this tank? Okay, there's one tank down. There's another one over there, though. Let's just use all the rest of my missiles. Oh. How are you doing today, Blackjack? Don't just run away as soon as I start shooting at you, you jackasses. Oh, fuck me. Ooh, there goes, like, all my health. What the fuck? That's not good. What the fuck is shooting at me? Oh my god. <sighs> Hold on. I'm gonna look at something real quick. Let's see. Da, 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 da. I'm trying to see if there's a way for me to cheat and not have this vehicle blow up. Um, let's see here. I would really not uh, like to continue to die over and over again. I see. Well, Blackjack, maybe in the future you can uh, just cut your legs off entirely and replace them with robotics and cybernetics. That would be great. So I'm going to do anyway. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not finding a way to just fucking kill the goddamn vertebrates or heal myself or kill myself god mode while in the vehicle, which sucks. Very unfortunate. What is it? Toggle TF TFC? Toggle flying camera, right? Yeah, 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 that's it. It doesn't seem to help me, though. Like, I get even, like, close, and I just get destroyed. And yeah, that shit that happens, which is just hilarious. another turret up here on this rooftop. Let's just barrage that real quick. Wait for our missiles to reload. Seriously, you assholes? That was like 20 fucking health. Also, I can't seem to fucking strafe half the time. Like, I can't move right now. What the fuck? Ba -da. 
I don't know what the fuck's going on, but uh. Oh wait, it's TCL is what I want for collision. So I can just fucking do this. All right. Wait. Try that again. There we go. There's my stuff. All right, I got a bunch of breathing masks. All right, here I come. Can make me play this bullshit sequence. Let's fucking go! You want some? Let's go! It's gonna take a little bit to take on this tank, though. If only I had my tank. Probably gonna sequence sequence break it, but that's fine. If I can skip this stupid part, that'd be excellent. I can destroy this very bird in the middle for some reason. Um, let me see here. I think there were a couple more turrets down here. Yep. Any more turrets? There we go. Some more turrets. Can I destroy this vertebrae? I cannot. Okay. Oh, there's a howitzer right here. There's one more. Come on. Here we go. I can get to the door. Can I open it? Wires key. What if I just boop? Unlock. <laughs> okay. Toggle up the flying. Oop, not the flying camera. Toggle collision. There we go. Okay. Come back. Question is, is that what I was supposed to do or not? I'm mean, assuming I was not supposed to do that, but just a dead android, huh? Actually, there's a couple of dead people around here. That's interesting. First recon soldier. Android security. Wait. It's from the space station. Follow the eye. Interesting. So I'm looking for stuff with like an eye on it then. Mm hmm. Why is a key, huh?
Activate terminal. Blah, blah, blah. This way. Okay. Are they supposed to... People supposed to be dead? Requires a key. So I have to do something else in here? I just said it was this way. Can't hit around with a terminal. Do I destroy this? No. Maybe they got a key on them somewhere? How about you? Nope. Yeah, I think I fucked it. Okay, well, we'll just toggle collision and walk through. Let's see, what else we got back here? Nothing, okay. I'm just gonna keep collision on, fuck it. do not want to do that fucking flight combat bullshit. It's, it's so awful. Go up here? Nope. Okay, how about this? You, door. Unlock. You, door. Unlock. Look, the door opened. Weird. Ooh. No, no. Nothing here. Check out the engine room then. Oh, here, combat. Seems like a good sign. Kind of. like. Okay. Bye, sir. Help the NCR boys. Okay. Ah, fuck me. Okay. This one? Great, yeah, hooray. Let me just do this fucking shit again. If you will think of the fucking, like, liberators, not the liberators, the, uh, vertebrates stopped, like, coming at me, like, after I destroyed all the ones on the deck, but, like, they don't. They're literally just, like, constantly coming after me. From like every which way. Let's just bombard that area real quick. They take me down like 20 points of health before I can even fucking see them. Come on, just fucking die. Uh, move forward, please. Like, what the fuck? 
I don't understand what causes this thing to move like in certain directions at all. Like sometimes I can strafe, sometimes I can't. Okay, that's a tank destroyed. So I can apparently only strafe or go forward. I can't do both. I'm getting shot from. Okay, that one's dead. Any more? There's one. Okay. Jesus Christ. Okay, let's get a little bit closer here. Only some bombardment right on that turret there. I think I got it. Just gonna strafe a bit here. I can get some triangles, there we go. Okay, there's that tank dusted. I think there's a couple more turrets on the top deck. And there's also the ones under the bottom there. That's an AA cannon. Let's get these boys knocked out next. Okay. There's one more cannon up there, I think. Let me hit the one on the corner first. I think the game sensed that I was starting to get pissed off by it, and they just stopped, like, sending shit at me. Come on, missiles, please! Missiles! Okay, that one's gone. Ugh. Can I hit that one from here? I can. Excellent. Okay. Let me just sneak around here and kill those two. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to like land on the deck or if I'm supposed to actually kill all these. I got those two. Is that everything then? Don't tell me I was actually supposed to land on the deck. Oh my god, no. Are you fucking with me right now? Because I landed too close to that vertebrate, I died? Really? Why am I alive? Huh? I'm, co I'm confused. What, 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 what's my goal? Okay. Uh, I think it's F6 or F8 to reload. Nope. <sighs> Maybe 
Maybe if I stay far enough back, the vertebrates won't come after me. I don't know. Just one thing down. I'll just do like some aerial bombardments from far, far away. Nope, there goes one. Shitter, come on. When you're there. Oh my god. Here we go. Okay, that one's down. That one's gone. Any more vertebrates in the air? Not at the moment. Okay. Total these vertebrates before they take off. Yeah, most of them anyway. That's pretty good. All right, there's a couple of turrets down. Just dust that area nicely there. Speaking of fucking vertebrates, god damn it. Missiles, come on, please. We need your help. Thank you. Did we get all these turrets on the back, on the bottom. Yeah, I think I did. Okay, perfect. Get more altitude. Now that I understand the like controls, like how to strafe fully, it's not nearly as bad. But Jesus Christ, was it bad for a while there? Right there, okay. Okay, those are gone. Yeah, if they would have said, oh, by the way, you cannot strafe and go forward at the same time, I would not have, like, gotten shot nearly as much. Okay, is that everything? Thinking it was. Except for this fucking thing here, which I cannot destroy, I'm guessing. Oh no, I can. Okay. Okay. And now I can just set it on down nice and easy, right? A hey, mission complete. Hell yeah. Uh, 30 minutes for one fucking segment. My god. Hi guys, don't don't mind us. Don't fire. Don't worry. Oh hey, it's the people who like me. Listen. We're just here to stop Brancor. He is the one responsible for launching the nuke at Sacktown and killing Blackthorn. Rancor has been operating under orders from members of the NCR Congress. He's been deceiving us all. We've seen the security footage of you and the courier leaving the nuclear facility shortly after the nuke launched from there. The atomic explosion can be seen in the distance as you two stood there and watched. I take it that you're admiring your handiwork. Pretty damning evidence, if you ask me. You were me. with us. What evidence do you have to back up your claims? Nothing. 
I thought so. If I did launch that nuke, why would I have? Why wouldn't I have targeted Camp Phoenix? You wanted to avoid destroying the Liberator so it could be seized afterwards. I wouldn't have needed a nuke just to kill Blackthorn. Perhaps you wanted to make a statement. Maybe you just couldn't pass out the opportunity to launch a nuke. I gotta have high intelligence. Perhaps launching a nuke was the only way for you to kill Blackthorn while framing me for it. You still can't prove I was ever at the nuclear facility in the first place. What do you mean, dude? I think after all I'm done with the answer, Exile speaks for itself. Why not let everyone decide what they believe? Why would AJ ever betray Blackthorn after how much she's served him? You and AJ are probably in cahoots with one another. Maybe there's a love interest between you two. Oh, of course. Well, perception's not going to work. Let's see. I think all I've done for the NCR exile speaks for itself. Why not let everyone decide who they wish to believe? Oh. Sure. Go ahead. Whoever else wants to be executed along with these traitors, be my guest. The courier is not the one betraying us. It's Rancor. He's been setting us up. I'll stand by the courier all the way to the end. The courier pulled me back from the edge when he could have just killed me. I can trust him with my life. A sneering punk, okay. I know none of you may have reason to trust me, but heed my warning. Rancor is a snake in the grass. He will take advantage of all of you if given the opportunity. The courier is trustworthy. Why would I that reduce? He would ever betray us. I stand with the courier. I got the courier's back on this one. The courier has Siren? He can be trusted. I owe him my life. I'm probably going to regret this, but I'm siding with the courier. The courier has done good for us, even when he didn't have to. I'll stand with the courier. Okay, let's find a troublemaker. The courier's got my support. The courier's no fucking pushover. I'll place my bet on him. Siren, why are you limping? So you've managed to gain a few loyalists. It makes no difference. They'll die along with you. Courier! Rancor still has his first recon goons backing him, along with androids and any other technologies gathered from Archimedes, too. Even with our allies, this is still going to be a tough fight. Utilize everything you got. This is where we make our final push to stop Rancor. I don't I'll provide you with any medical aid and keep you patched up so you can stay focused on the enemy courier. This is why I kept you alive, I Siren. I tank busters to make use of. How do you want to use them? Uh, use them as you see fit. I'll give them hell. I can hack into the turrets laid out in the ship. What would you like me to do to them? Um, yeah. go ahead and disable their targeting parameters. Roger. Take these medical supplies, Courier. It's the most I can do. Thanks, Doc. I'm no good in a fight, but I can hand you these supplies. I don't remember who you are, Edmund. Them. Hold on while I equip my armor, please, guys. I mean, it does... It is kind of bad that I'm uh, wearing Legion gear here. It, it does... Uh, Definitely makes it seem like I might be the baddie here. What can I say? It's the best armor right now. Yeehaw! Siren, no! Okay, you're just knocked out. That's fine. Woo! It's exploding to gory chunks. Siren, keep healing. Oh, hold up. Right, they took all my shit, so now I have to fucking reslot everything. Yeah, hate to see it. That was five. Front seat was four. Magnum plated thing was three. The uh, modified plasma rifle. Where'd I get that? Um, the support carbine? Never had that. Missile edge is six. I guess I didn't have anything in seven, did I? I don't know where I got that stuff. Anyway. Hey, buddy. How about uh, take your arm off? What? Nani? 
I just finished reslotting all my stuff, you jackasses! I'm a little upset. Okay. Front suite, four. Covert sniper, five. Magnum plated, two, three. Uh, prototype there. Abyssal edge, six. Stim packs, eight. Quick save, okay. Keep our head down a little bit, huh? There comes an android. I can fucking hit it. There we go. Wait, am I stealth right now? Nice. Is that siren? It's hard to tell who's who at the moment. That's fine, though. There we go. I missed that shot, didn't I? Oh my god, I cannot aim for shit right now. Who's the one like up there flanking them? What the hell? Rogue, Siren, welcome back. Oh god, it's him. Hector. Like a boss, huh? Boop. Oh. Oh, he's dead. Or doing yoga. One of the two. Alrighty. It's a field cannon, huh? Am I going to use that to shoot the door? Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, I did not guess that my sniper bullet would do that. Okay, talk about a critical, right? Okay, I think everyone's dead or not. Why the fuck do we have cyborg death claws? You know you're the baddies when you're using cyborg death claws. I got the Enforcer, guys. You get the Death Claws. Did you guys get the Death Claws? I might have. God damn, Siren just fearlessly going after him with an axe. Get him, Hector! Good job, mate. Where did the enforcer go, guys? Did we fuck him up, or is he still hanging around? Oh, there he is. He's just over fucking with our back line. Okay. That's right. We move on. Bum bum ba da. God damn, I can't believe a single sniper bullet did that. I guess I just kind of sheared the whole thing off when I shot that guy. <laughs> insane. Absolutely insane. Shipping crates. Missiles, stealth boys. I don't think there's energy cells. You know what? Fuck it. Take it all. Let's go. Why not? Liberator flight deck. Wait, why are we back out? The door to the command center is just over there. Cover me while I get it open. Ah, uh, okay. Courier. I can call in artillery strikes using the Liberator's own artillery. Just use these smoke grenades to mark the strike area. What? I managed to call in some vertebrate -bird air support. Use these binoculars to pinpoint napalm strikes and let these fuckers burn. What? Huh? And now I'm over encumbered. What did you guys give me? All right, I have like a bunch of combat armor I was gonna sell. I think it doesn't matter anymore. 
Let's see. Don't need that. Don't need that. Okay. Call it in. Uh, so how about the napalm strike? Ooh, that's great. Oh, I think that tank just kind of fucking day up. Maybe I should have took those anti-tank guns, huh? Wait, is there a tank right next to me? Can I use that? The door to the command. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Courier. I that is a tank. Can I use that? I managed to call in some. Da, 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 da. Drop, 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 drop. I'm keeping her crown because I want it. But can I get in this? <gasps> I can. It's my tank. Oh shit! Whoopsie. Ah. Uh. Go. Hector, please. Oh no, I hit Hector. Can't see, can't see, can't see. I think I hit that. Yeah, that's good. Okay, can this tank die, please? I'm alive! Someone kill that fucking tank! There we go. Use it. Come on. Ouch. What the fuck? Where'd you come from? Ah! This is like a stagger with the, uh, the goss. That's nice. Or not. Or not. Or not. Or not. Or not. Okay. Easy. Case. What we got here? Sniper? Mm -hmm. Don't need that. Communications officer O'Reilly? No! That sucks. I have a number of tank busters here, which is cool. Lead lined munition tank. Flare gun. Why would I think a flare gun? I can get in that one. Does that mean I can get in this one too? I can. Again, I don't know why they're putting flame fuel in, in a, a lead lined container, but okay. Okay, tank buster, tank buster. I'm gonna go ahead and put you in slot six or seven. Hey, better, 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 better. So, wait, wait, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Swing! Got him. I fired. Take this turn. We good? Oh, can I not like just do that? Nope. Okay, it unequips it. I see. That's fair. I'm gonna re-equip one of those to seven just in case I need it. Let's reach the command center. Oh, you find an explosive there? Okay. 
Bang? Do I need to talk to you, AJ? You no. Did, did you unlock it? Is it gonna blow up? Uh... Okay. I was I was expecting an explosion, but. Hey! I know what that was about. Rancor is likely on the top deck, but he's got the place locked down. We need to find a way to get these doors open. Primary target is at large and undamaged. Full perimeter alert Hawkeye is neutralized. Recommend immediate repairs to primary systems to ensure... What up? <laughs> oh yeah, that'll work. Ooh, crunchy. Thank you. Activate terminal. Follow the eye. You got it. This time we will. Because this time it didn't sequence break, so it should work properly. Is that you? What the hell is going on with these androids? Do, do you seriously not understand that that's the guy that we left on Archimedes who like owns or like who is part of it now? I understand. That's what's happening. Okay. Let's see, keep going. You got a boss. Am I that light? Why do you keep like overloading them? Or like, is that just like they're, they're overloading because of uh, you possessing them? Back to a terminal. Almost got it. Almost got what? So is that gonna unlock the uh, engineering? Yep. One more to go. Okay, okay. Let's go, AJ! I'm gonna quickly all this stuff. Just that. Oh, wait, hold on. Is that an I? Nope, okay. Run, mechanics, run! Run for your lives! Interesting helmet, Mr. Android Secure. Hold on. You're not getting away that easily, sir. Uh, I'm just going to ignore the fact that I had no head there. Yep, just going to ignore that. We are back in the dream, boys. Oh, god damn! That was messy as shit. Oh, there it is. There's the eye. This is it. Uh-oh. I mean, my light still doesn't work, so... Wouldn't it be really weird to, uh... What did you just do? Whatever you did, it seems to have lifted the lockdown. Let's get to the top deck, quick. I feel like uh, powering off the entire place would be a really bad thing to do since we're like suspended in the air but that might just be me at least uh that one guy has control of things now all right up to the bridge we go quick save um, who are you
Make sure, make sure you are community. Okay. Cool. Hello, security units. Man, that sucks. If my perception was higher, I could have been like, hey, I know you. And like gotten him back his memory or whatnot, but shame. What's that? NCR Snow Officer's Armor? Ten damage, nope. Fuck that. Those bullets though? I'll take those. Not that I need them, but I'll always take free bullets. Anything back this way? Nope, it's just a bathroom. Okay. Oops. Hi, friendo. Well, looks like Rancor's having fun there. I think he's starting to talk, so. Hi. Uh. I still have the Archimedes two death rate correct. Yes, it's still online. I have the Sea Finder right here. Fire it on our position. Say what now? Fire on the Liberator. Blast a hole through the hull of the ship. Do it now. Have you lost your mind? That'll kill us all. Well, I figured that was going to happen. Rancor, stop. This is not how this has to end. Fuck you. Fuck the NCR. Fuck the Legion. Fuck the whole goddamn world. If I'm going down, I'm taking everyone down with me. Fuck, he's lost it. Find some cover. Why are these shields still up? We own the Liberator, right? What? Oh. I expected it to start losing altitude, but it's kind of just hanging in there like a champ. I have a rancor. He's run off, of but we did. might still catch him if we're quick. What about the liberator? The liberator is going down. There's nothing. Okay, let's go. But first, hey way. Ah, I figured you have something cool on you. Never mind. Let's go. Yep, everyone else is dead. The rainbow the robots are leaking some gunk. I don't have a head. That's swell. I cannot jump over. Okay, there we go. Jump. No. Can't jump over that. Okay. To the flight deck. Rancor. Got 16 bullets left. Smile for the camera. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Are you fucking kidding? That's such bullshit, he died. Whatever. Hey, buddy, get off my liberator. Are we going over there? Don't, no, don't, don't, don't do this. <sighs> don't, don't, don't do this. Please, no. There goes the NCR faction. Plus, of course, I left some people behind on the base.
Wait, this is the Moave. I can't believe it. All has been lost. What do you mean? My friends. All dead. My dignity. Strip. Yeah. We can still take revenge on Rancor. <laughs> I've got Rancor. The Seafinder is giving away his location. What are we waiting for? Let's kill this bastard already! Yeah, let's. Time for another flight scene! Oh yeah! Everybody's favorite part of this fucking game! Of course all the misses were lower than they should have been. How does he have any fucking vertebrates on him, huh? Destroy this motherfucker there, okay. That's cheating. That is fucking cheating. You can't just use the rangefinder, have it start at that specific point, and then I just fucking die because I'm on it. That's no. Fine. Take two. Excuse me? I was once again strafing. So I have to get in and kill him before uh, he calls into the levels. I'm just screwed if I get too close, huh? At least I'm getting the range on those missiles, yeah. Come on, die, please. There you go. There we go. Are you fucking with me right now?
die, please. Move! What the fuck? God damn it! Way too close. Avoid! All the missiles. Here we go. Close in. Let's get him. I'm straight. Go, gotta go, gotta go. Now we finish this. Come on, just die. Jesus Christ. Get him? Ugh. Somehow. They're really milking the fucking vertebrate combat in this game. Yeah? Any sort of movement that will blow you out of the sky. Identify yourself. One does. So, question: What would have happened since I took the the C Finder, right? And I had it on my possession the entire time. So it makes sense that uh, they got it when I um, got captured and they took all my stuff. What would have happened? If I would have taken the rangefinder, but then like just thrown it away somewhere in the wilds um, after I got it, maybe I couldn't have done that. I don't know. Actually, didn't I put it in my storage box? I don't know. Uh, can't can't get a weapon. No. Yeah, Rancor. So here we are, Courier. Just you and me now. We're all that's left. This isn't how I imagined it to play out, but things don't always go according to plan. Was that just a game of caravan? Fuck that. Well, what made this game end? Let's not keep the devil waiting. Are you? No, where are my weapons? Excuse me? Ah. 
And I have their guns on the ground. Why don't I have my guns? Kind of annoying to be honest. <clears throat> God damn it, I thought I could fucking get in that box, but nope, apparently not. Apparently I'm just gonna fucking die. <sighs> so did I save right before I killed Rancor or before I walked up to him? Before I walked up to him, okay, perfect. This will be a golden opportunity to just loot the bodies. Since apparently my, my weapons are all fucking gone. Some mile. Let's just fucking take it all. I'll just drop when I get overweight. Give me your shit. Give me your ammunition. Give me your shit. Okay. Satchel charges. Ha 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 ha. Okay. How much minigun ammo do I have? Not a whole lot. Did they get rid of all my ammo too? They're really starting to drive me up the wall. What was that? Rockets Red Glare something? Ranger Sequoia. Don't need that knife. Get rid of that stuff. What was that? I picked up something that said Rockets Red Glare, didn't I? Right there. Rocket Red Glare Auto Launcher? Oh, for like a grenade launcher thing or something? Do I even have one of those right now? No? What if I found it here? Wouldn't there be a uh, gun here? Oh, more 5mm, more ammunition, more ammunition. Do I have tank shells on me? That's the question. Nope, maybe I'll find some going around here though. All drop, drop. Okay, any duplicates that I can? Can I have a grenade rifle? Nope. Okay. Oops. Oh, a uh... howitzer. Okay. <coughs> Ow. Over here, real quick. They're giving me mods, but nothing like really on them. What the fuck? Did it just start the combat? Don't need a hatchet, don't need a knife. Don't need two service rifles. Yep, it didn't like me, so it started the match. Okay. Or I looted everything. They were like, now nah, fuck you. Really? He's praying the grenades right where I'm going? That takes care of that gun. Drop the minigun. Let's get satchel charges. How far can I throw these? Not very fucking far. Why am I not moving fast? Okay. Well, satchel charges kind of suck. Um, let's go with the grenade rifle. Where's this bitch ass at? There it is. Uh. 
Just my tank. Anything on the cargo? Oh yeah, we got a little bit of the cargo. Let's go. Go, boy. Well, out of really, it's okay. Did some decent damage to him, though. That's good. And a material rifle. Let's go. Shit. Uh, what the fuck? Hold that thought, sir. Hmm. Are you really shooting those right at your feet, madam? Okay. Let's finish this with... An SMG. Okay, that didn't work. Let's finish this with... Where's the Ranger Sequoia? There it is. Let's go, boy! Ah! Excuse you? Okay. Oh, really? Yeah? Is so we're gonna play this? Okay. Give me that one. That's better than that. Only a scratch. Oh, for fuck's sake. Give me Wasn't here, Rancor. Stop it. What the fuck is happening? I cannot see. You like that? No, I don't like that. Why the fuck am I taking so much? Okay. You know what? That's enough. I don't know why hell I was taking so much damage there. Like, it was doing like 80% of my health, like per tick. So, how about this? Yeah, 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 I know. God mode, yada, yada, yada. Where's that fucking minigun at? I'll do this the old-fashioned way. I'm pretty sure the NCR uh, <gasps> armored guy was carrying it. There you are. Yep. All right, bitch tits. Let's fucking do this. Wanna play this game, Rancor? We'll play this fucking game. Yeah? Okay. Hindsight. Figured maybe I would do a little more damage, but uh, apparently we're just gonna sit here and I'm just gonna tink away at him. So how are things, Rancor? Oh, he had a lot of stuff on him, huh? Marshman carbine, a couple of missiles, some grenades, okay. Where are you, Rancor? Oh, there you are. So 
So what were you shooting me with that was like fucking doing all my damage? Like all my health, man. Oh, did you just fucking place a bunch of mines and that's what it killed me? Huh? Is that what you did? Did you just fucking teleport? Rancor, stop! Rancor. Okay. And now he's dead. Got mode off. Jesus Christ. Give me your fucking rangefinder. Give me your revolver. Give me that. Thank you. Okay. Now he's not coming back. No. What's the point of fucking having this bitch then? Because revolver. 83 damage. Jesus Christ. I thought he was in like a truck. AJ, you're alive. Thanks for the help. It's done. Rancor's dead. And you have the Sea Finder. There's nothing more for us to do here. You alright? I'm fine. I've just had enough of it all. Let's not spend more time here than we need to. You got it. Let's go back home. I've already radioed for someone to pick us up and take us back to Portland. They'll be here shortly. What do with the Seafinder? It's up to you. I trust you'll know what to do with it. I'm gonna keep it. Let's see. Upon examination of the Sea Primer, uh, Sea Finder Prime. You discovered a few pre-settings for use of the Archimedes to Death Gray. It details a supercharged blast that can be and will render the Death Rays useless after one shot. It's noted that the blast is capable of wiping out the entire Legion in Arizona or NCR in California or both. It also has a self-destruct option that will destroy the Archimedes to space station. Draw the Sea Finder to prime it and activate it to make a decision. Huh. Why would I want to destroy the space station? It's done nothing wrong. Also, that's the final, uh, the final choice that I have. Let's see. Do nothing but keep the Sea Finder. Do nothing and throw the Sea Finder away. Destroy the Legion in Arizona. Destroy the NCR in California. Destroy both the Legion and NCR. Bye. I'm the god of this world. <laughs> Roll credits here. Uh, why are we in? I've just the heard more of a bright light wiping out most of California. Wow, weird. Courier, you. You did... What have you done? You've killed them! You've destroyed everything! No. you killed them all! What are you gonna do about it? Oh. That's what they're gonna do about it. Well. I'm the bad guy now. Why are some of them fighting each other? Oh, because America's there. Hey, America! Welcome back to the fight! What was that quest? Oh. Give it KIA, motherfuckers! America! Fuck yeah! Hey, buddy! Hey, what you hiding for? Hey! Hey, buds! How you doing? Nope. Where do you think you're going? Vilified. Well, well, well. If it isn't the consequences of my own actions. Who could have saw this coming? Except for, like, everyone. 
Okay. Elevator door, inaccessible. Hey, AJ. AJ. Where's AJ? Why does he have no guns on him? AJ! Ho 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 ho. Ho oh, oh. ho. Wait, no, that's not what I want. I want... Is AJ, is AJ just her gun now? Is that what this is? I want the gun! No! Are you kidding me? I can't just take the gun? Wow, I wanted it though. That's rude. Oh, here's AJ. Still can't turn on my pip light though. Wow. You ever just make a decision and then immediately regret it? Neither have I. Hey, America, let's go. Where does this take us to? The frontier? A light machine gun? A couple of ammunition boxes? If I were to reload, where does it take me? I'll take me back a couple. Okay. Let me save. I mean, let me reload at high altitude. I'm assuming that's before I make the choice, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Bang! Kill the Legion! Also, I like how... Rancor was just using it all willy-nilly and just destroying shit. But, like, I didn't get to do that? Or is that what keeping the Sea Finder means? Huh? Yeah, everyone? Hello, hello? I've just got word that Arizona is in flames. Nothing but smoke and ash for miles with little sign of any Legion remnants. I'm guessing you wiped them out. Good riddance, too. The Legion there were a plague that deserved to be eradicated. One less problem the Wasteland has to deal with. Indeed. Anyone on board the Liberator survive? A number of people made it to the escape pods. Some of them are still in one piece and currently here at the radio station. Unfortunately, many didn't make it. That's a shame. Why were we brought to the NCR radio station? When everyone at the airport packed everything into the Liberator and flew off, they left the airport unguarded. So now, scavs have overrun the place. This is the last secured base left in the frontier. But I doubt that will last for long. What will the frontier NCR do now? <sighs> I don't know. It's none of my concern anymore. I won't be sticking around here for long. You're leaving the frontier? There's nothing here for me anymore. This place has taken everything from me. I just need to get away from here. Find a new place. Start a new beginning. Hmm. Where do you plan to go? I don't know. Wherever the wind takes me. As long as it's away from here. That's all that matters. You can travel with me. I know it's been tough, but we can pull through it together. Better than wandering aimlessly. Besides, make a great team. I guess you're right. Things will work out better if we stick together. Together, we are stronger. It gives us reason to keep going, no matter how hard things get. In the end, that's what matters most. To have something to fight for. Sure, Courier. I'll follow alongside you. Besides, you wouldn't have gotten this far without me. I mean, true, I'm not even sure what would have happened if you were not here, considering the plot relied so heavily on you being in the game. Weird. Is America here? America! How you doing? Okay. Why am I overweight, though? What did I get that would like to send me overweight? Oh, was that because I picked all that stuff up and I just never dropped it because I was in god mode and I could run anyway? I think that was it. Alright, well. That appears to be... Good to see you still on your feet, Courier. Especially what's the plan now? We'll need to recruit more people if we want any chance of outlasting the frontier. Fortunately, 
I know some people who can help out with that. Good luck. You too. Am I not still in charge? Blackthorn left me in charge after all, right? Energy Trooper. I'm glad you're on our side, Courier. Freak Show. Holy hell, that was one hell of a ride. Explosions and carnage all around. It was... Yeah, a lot of good people died in it. It was pretty epic. What's the plan now? Normally, I'd be looking for a new gig scene as there's not much. But I think a little bit of you has been rubbing off on me. Ah, who am I kidding? Fuck this place. I'm out of here. Seriously, maybe I will stay and help. Get okay, so either they're gonna abandon them or go. Rogue, how about you? What you doing? To be a lot of work, but that's what I signed up for. I'm going to help turn this radio station into our new HQ. We'll have things up and running. In good luck. I like how my response to everyone is like, "Good luck with that. Good luck with that. Good luck with that. Good luck with that." I already talked to you. Clemens. I know it seems strange that I'm still hanging around the NCR. It's kind of weird. They seem... I can see they need unusual time. What's the plan? I can never return to the Crusaders. Okay. I, I don't know what I'll do with myself otherwise. If I don't keep... Good luck with that. Good Good luck with not falling back into your drug habits, sir. Siren. So much has happened in so little time. I'm still... But... What's you going to do now? I guess the only option now is to turn the frontier... I don't think we'll ever get a second chance to return to New California. The frontier is a harsh place, but I think we'll pull through if we stay focused. Maybe we can even make this into a more hospitable place. Good luck. How about you, Tuner? I never expected all of this to happen. I don't even remember why I came to the frontier in the first place. All I want now is just... What's your plan? I don't really know. Maybe I'll just help out with the radio station. As long as I don't have to engage in any more. I've had... Good luck. Good luck not fighting in a world full of fighting. I can't believe Rancor screwed us over like this. I know General Blackthorn had his flaws, but he didn't deserve to die the way he did. <sighs> it won't be easy. What's the plan? We'll have to make do with what we still got. I won't abandon the frontier. I chose to come here with Blackthorn, so I'll stay here if I have to. I'll even lead what's left of the army. But our fight is no longer with the NCR back in California. Our fight is here in the frontier. Not to steal resources and force out the locals, but to turn this into a civilized community where we work together and respect one another. I don't know what that's maybe what you weren't doing in the first we can place. Finally but, put an okay. end to the senseless bloodshed. Like Bye. Oh, before you go. Oh, here's your 2000 caps for completion of your tour to the frontier. I know it doesn't seem like much anymore, but I like to make sure you've been an exception. Thanks, Gray. For those of you who forgot, uh, like I did until like just now, Gray was the one who like signed us up for this in the first place to like join the um, and all that summer. Who the fuck are you? Welcome to the NCR radio station. John Walker's upstairs, and... Okay. I guess she's part of this place, but I've never been here before, so they were like, oh, okay. Trooper? So did, like, everyone who sided with me make it out, then? It looks like it. Oh. They seem to not have many beds here. God damn it, not door to stairs. Or maybe there's, like, more in, like, other areas? Okay, well... I'm gonna head outside. And see what greets me in the new land. Where the hell I'm at, anyway. <sighs> Thank you for playing Fallout New Frontier. This mod is a result of many, many years of hard work from everyone on the team, and we're so glad to share it with you. A new quest has been started, and then we'll direct you back to your way to the Mojave. If you share the mod, I'm sure to enjoy or endorse and thank the team. All that kind of stuff. And so came to an end the courier's exploits in the frontier. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, is that all? Is that is that all that's gonna happen? I, uh, 
I was expecting more like a, a slideshow showing he did this and this and this and that and uh yeah this uh okay did did it maybe like pick up not save Continue? Load, maybe? The ending slideshow room? Okay, let's try that again. Yeah? Let's, uh... Hold on. Hold on. Let's do this one first. See if we go back. Thank you for playing. And so came to an end the courier's exploits in the frontier. I feel like this is not supposed to just end here. Also, there's something bobbing on the screen in the bottom that wasn't doing that before. Do you, do you, do you see that? What the? the fuck? I can't uh, do anything. I can hit escape, but that's about all. So I'm guessing the game's soft locked here. I'm assuming they meant for you to like get a, a slideshow telling you of all the different things that you did and helped, and uh, like a normal Fallout game it has the ending of such things. But uh, I, I guess this is as good a place as any to just kind of wrap up the stream and give you my thoughts on the game thus far. Um, so far, without having played the Legion quests or the uh, uh, the outcast, not the outcast, the uh, the Crusaders stuff, which uh, I'm gonna be playing the Crusaders on my own. I'm not gonna play the Legion because I don't really care too much about the Legion side of things because they're slavers and I don't like slavers. Um, just doing the NCR and the few side quests that I did, the side quests were pretty good. I, I enjoyed them, especially the uh, like uh, Cthulhu esque one where we were like in a sprawling underground dungeon uh that was like insane that was pretty good oh it is just like a slideshow of different stuff they're just not doing a voiceover i guess which seems odd okay um anyway it was a uh, quite a ride infuriating at parts um all in all average at first it was really good not gonna lie. Uh, after we got off the Archimedes II space station, it started to go downhill really quick. And uh, it wasn't great. Because uh, after the Archimedes II space station is literally right when they uh, started the stupid vertebird flight combat, which sucked. It was the worst thing I've ever played in a game. Like, ever. And I've played some pretty shit stuff in games. But uh, the vertebrate flight was truly, truly awful. Uh, God. So let's kind of take it from the beginning and go through uh, everything that we encountered, I guess, in the, in the frontier. Um, so first of all, the whole, oh, you want to join the thing and make some caps and the kind of backstory, like, lore we got about uh, the fight at Helios that we took part in. And all that kind of good stuff. I like that bit. That was it was interesting. It added a like, okay, this is why these people are here. This is what happened. Uh, that was all great. The uh, the scripted scenarios were pretty cool. The whole um, like getting captured by the Legion, playing as Hardcase was his name. I just now remembered. Um, playing as Hardcase and like saving the courier after we got kidnapped was pretty great. Uh, pretty pretty cool. Although. <laughs> Getting kidnapped as the courier was when Valerius really dead and Ostia destroyed. Oh. The Northern Legion quickly disbanded. Most simply integrated into the native scav population, or used their fighting skill to form raider gangs. A choice few returned to the Legion fort, where Caesar had them put to the cross for their failure. As the war subsided, Junk Fleet began to prosper, no longer relying on selling information on factions they were able to begin more legal operations. 
Utilizing junk flea's water reservoirs and ample space, large swaths of the underground were turned into hydroponic areas. Though the courier would never meet the mayor, the mayor would eventually become a very powerful figure, albeit from the shadows. As the threat of the war passed, the mayor could no longer tolerate the slums' lawlessness. The guards moved through the slums like fire, arresting or executing the worst of the criminals. The slums would still be considered dangerous, but they would never again be as toxic as they once were. With no guardian to protect them, the Church of Eternal Life was quickly wiped out by violent outsiders in search of their treasure. Irvington continued to prosper, even as more and more people began to grow sick. After years of suffering and dozens dead, Dr. Pavis finally created a cure for the disease. With the plague ended, Irvington would grow to rival junk flea in size and influence, becoming a beacon of civilization in Portland. There was a plague? Salt Town continued to be prosperous, but some years after the war, What's Salt Town? mutated ants flooded out of the mine, destroying the town. There was a place called Salt, Salt Town? Town? was soon abandoned, its ruins left to the ants. America's internal doubt continued to push her away from everyone. Unable to resolve it, she grew distant. She didn't belong with the Crusaders. Maybe she didn't belong anywhere. She decided on her next scouting mission to disappear. No one would miss her. Though he would Damn. never truly forgive himself for Sarah's death, Lot was soon able to face the bright light ahead. Through his time with the courier, he had come to terms with the death of his only family and slipped peacefully into the darkness. And so it came to an end, the courier's magnum opus, a final adventure to the unknown. The road to Hoover Dam now lay before the courier, an empty slate to be carved. Because war, War never changes. No, you can't join the Enclave. Boo! Boo this man! Uh. Oh, okay. I don't... Is this, uh... What I think it is? Is this... This isn't the, uh... Junk flea? Nah, that's not where I thought it was. I thought this was where the uh, helicopter went down with AJ uh, in it and whatnot. Ooh, I bought. Okay, hold on. Doesn't matter. Um, anyway, uh, let's just kind of wrap up the, the thing here with my final thoughts. I, I guess there was supposed to be dialogue in the beginning parts, but they just kind of didn't have it properly uh, linked up or something. I don't know. Weird stuff. But uh, anyway. So I was saying I liked the beginning how stuff was kind of like a little bit scripted at parts and whatnot. It made sense kind of getting you into the whole this is the NCR and the frontier kind of thing. What was going to go on with the different uh, groups and all that kind of stuff. Um, rather interesting. Uh, and I liked going around in the tank and kind of all the crazy combat stuff like that. And um, the new weapons were pretty cool too. Not going to lie. Uh, the vehicles are a little janky, especially since, I mean, it, it, no no doubt, because Fallout was not meant to have vehicles, so it's a completely, like, modded-in thing. Uh, so driving them and then bouncing around, like, kind of crazy, especially with, like, the buggy and stuff that's faster. Uh, the tank was pretty fine uh, to drive, but uh, sadly I never got used it much. The one thing about the vehicle I did not like is that whenever I, like, fast-traveled or something, it would just kind of teleport to places or like whenever I would like go into a building and come back out it wouldn't be in front of the building it'd be like over here for example uh, I didn't I didn't like that because I'd have to go find it every fucking time which was not great um, but the vehicles were pretty cool uh, the armor as you can see was also very uh, F and very very nice I enjoyed this this was great uh, and for the most part the story of the NCR was decent ish 
Um, there were num numerous times that I was like, this is, why would I do this? Uh, like, Rancor coming along on the flight mission, and uh, when, like, Rancor extracted the information from the, uh, the Legion guys and left that meeting early uh, when we were, like, Blackthorn was the one who was like, the courier is going to be taking over for me, blah, blah, blah. And I saw Rancor leave. I was like, yeah, that's suspicious. And, like, um, all that kind of stuff. Especially when, like, he framed Grey and the uh, stuff. Like, yeah. But there was a lot of stuff that was okay, a lot of stuff that was good, and a lot of stuff that was bad. Uh, the bad stuff was, like, the stuff you couldn't get out of or the stuff that just went on way too long. Um, the vertebrate fights were just awful, just god-awful, because uh, unless you like perfectly knew how to fly it, which it took some getting used to, because you couldn't just go straight and strafe at the same time. You had to like either go forward or uh, stop for a second, and then you could strafe, which was just awful to understand that. And not to mention that the AI didn't follow the same rules, so they can literally just do whatever the fuck they want, teleport out of anywhere, and just fucking start blasting you from behind without you realizing they're there. Which is not cool. Um, there was the weird fucking scene in the winter after we fell out after Blackthorn of the Vertibird, where like we saw a bunch of ghosts and stuff like that, which dragged on for ever. It was like ten minutes of us walking through the snow, just seeing stuff like there. Right? It just seemed way too long. Um, the whole segment where we were like in the uh, in that vault what was it nine or something or vault six or something like that where we like got hallucinated we were like loose where we were hallucinating and uh all that kind of stuff it was way 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 dry out like did not need to happen thank god they put a skip for the maze in there because if they did not i would have lost my fucking mind i think but uh i, I like the segment but it just felt way too long like unnecessarily long and a lot of stuff that you could not skip or that was just long and dragged out was just really weird. Um, speaking of things that were really weird, the Wendigos having like a bunch of health and like being almost unkillable with like a decent amount of bullets was really fucked up. Like so that's supposed to be harder, like enforcers or like higher end enemy legion people or NCR people or like anything. Really, like those hulking behemoth things that are like mutated ghouls, are easier to kill than the Windigos. So that's why I, I ended up just I'm just gonna slash or command kill all the game Windigos we saw during that one segment because it was unnecessarily strong. Like I don't know if that's on purpose or if it was like an oversight, like they accidentally added an extra zero to their health or something. But it was not okay. That was dumb. Uh, thank God they're slow, but they also hit hard. And it's just, they're just damage sponges. They're not fun to shoot at. Um, there were a number of janky kind of things, like kind of scripted events that occurred or stuff like that. Like um, the segment where we had to jump a buggy over the bridge stuff sucked because of how precise you had to be. The um, last vertebrate thing where we had to like follow and shoot down Rancor and uh, if we get too close to the edge of the map where the like light beam comes from, apparently we just fucking instantly die because we can't avoid it because it's just right there. Uh, so that sucked. Um, I'm sure you could tell towards the end of the last couple of episodes, I started to get just really pissed at the game and just being like, you know, I'm just going to cheat and whatnot. Like in Rancor's last battle where we uh, fought him and uh, he like instant killed me. From like full health that last time before I turned God mode on. That was not great. So uh, fuck that. That's why I turned it on. I was just like, fuck you. Uh, I also did not like that I could not shoot him in the back as he was running away and kill him. I had enough bullets to kill him. He just like instantly regenerated, which was bullshit. I was thinking about just fucking doing the command to kill him right then and there. But uh, I figured if he's healing like that, it's probably because it's a scripted bullshit thing. Um, which is unnecessary. Uh yeah. Uh, again, a, a lot of... There was some stuff that didn't make sense with the story. Like, AJ, for example. Like, once you save her... Like, uh, everything up until the point where she was like, I don't want to go on. 
made sense for like AJ's story, right? But if you don't convince her and you just say bye, is she like, oh no, I'm sorry, actually I want to come with? And then she goes with, or does someone else find her? Or like what? Because regardless, my choice there didn't matter to bring her with, it seems. Because there had to have been AJ there. Or, or someone else would have took AJ's place? I don't know. It just makes sense to me that AJ was uh, in the ending so heavily. It felt like it was just weird. Because if I wouldn't have uh, been like, hey, AJ, it's okay. You can still do your duty. You remember the wolf pack. It's great. Yada, yada. Um, and she would have just stayed in the cave and died. Then none of this ending stuff would have happened. She wouldn't have been with me and Rancor. She wouldn't have, like, saved me uh, during the, like, stupid blizzard scene thing. Um, she wouldn't have found the people who <coughs> allied with me at the end there. A lot of stuff just doesn't make sense there, right? And the whole, oh, Rancor has a fucking titan there at the end made no sense. Um, Rancor always having, like, a way to escape me and get away with his blinding lights that just fucking, like, appear, and then he just is away. Um, that whole thing with the nuke of him being able to launch it was stupid. Like, especially because I was, like, never given an opportunity to be like, Rancor, shut the fuck up before, like, right at the end. That was kind of forced, where it was like, hey, Rancor's evil, says the, the Crusader woman, and I'm like, oh, okay, I'll just betray Rancor. Um... And kill him, and then I'm not actually able to kill him because he's just like, haha, no, you flash bomb. And then apparently, no one else other than Hector Clemens was guarding the doors, and uh, he launched the nuke, um, of course. Um, also, thinking about it, if I killed Hector, or if I chose to kill Hector, would I not have killed Hector? And Rancor would have been like, no, 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 wait, let me inject him with this. And, I don't know, it's an illusion of choice there, I suppose. Um, which was not great. But, uh, I really liked the space station stuff. That was pretty cool. Uh, for the most part, um, the, the boss fight, the weird, like, trippy bullshit things that the, the guy who made the whole quest line started to do was weird. Like, the boss fights on the space station were stupid, tedious. Didn't like them. If, like, the final boss fight on the station where, like, we had to, like, get those, like, balls and, like, put them back into the pool after they were damaged to, like, destroy it and whatnot. If that would have gone on once, that would have been fine. Like, you do one loop of it and it's cool because that, like, takes different stuff. But you have to do it, like, three or four times. It gets tedious. The, uh, constantly losing our gear and having to reset all my keybinds to do stuff was awful. That was bad. I did not like that. Uh, there was, geez, I'm trying to think of other stuff that, like, I did not like. Basically, anything that I was like, okay, this is stupid, I'm going to turn God Mode on, or Collision on for, was kind of dumb. Um, yeah, there was a lot of stuff that was like, no, thank you, Skip, because I didn't enjoy it, or it felt tedious to me, and there was a lot of tedium. Um, the side quests, though, those really shined. There was the uh, the one where it was like the most dangerous game where we were uh, hunter or hunted. That was cool until I was the hunted. Um, and then you attack one and then I'll just swarm you. Or you don't have enough stuff to kill the dogs. And it's like, meh. And we ended up just god mode killing them all. Uh, that was good stuff. Um, I like that bit. There was also like uh, some side quests I did that I did not record. I was playing it on myself that were pretty cool. Like, um, I had to, uh, up in the north, I had to track down this guy, uh, while doing, like, a crazy quest line, um, and stuff like that. It was pretty interesting. There was also, I'm not sure if I recorded it, but up in the northern air, just north of the camp, uh, the Legion Airport, not the Legion Airport, the NCR Airport, there was a, uh, segment with this, like, merchant who, like, he... Apparently him and his sister and stuff like that were asleep. And then their guards and his sister disappears. His guards died and the sister disappears. And he's just there like, man, I don't know, weird shit. He totally seemed like the baddie, but apparently he wasn't. That was uh, interesting. Um, all of these little eyebots 
here, if you see them. Let me let me go up here and talk to one. These little uh, first eyes. Um, they're part of the network, which I haven't done much with. But apparently this network guy wants you to, like, get information about different things. And he has, like, eight eyebots around that you can uh, talk to. And they'll give you a quest. You do something. And then it, it, it uh, ends. But I think one of them got destroyed. So I'm not sure I can actually do that. And that was the one near the downed vertebrate um, where Wolfpack dies. Uh, so I'm not sure if that sequence broke or what, because I haven't been able to talk to an iBot since. Because I'm pretty sure I never talked to this first eye before. I also couldn't talk to the one up near the Outcasts area. So I'm not sure if Watch, if not Watcher. Uh, it does seem like Watcher since he watches people through iBots, but uh, I don't know about that. Um, yeah. Kind of interesting stuff. But uh, also, randomly going to look for... No, never mind. That wasn't random. I was going to say, random looking for that book uh, for the Crusaders and then finding that guy who was like, oh, by the way, do you know this lady from the Crusaders? And like finding that was kind of a coincidence. That was cool. Uh, but it wasn't a coincidence. It was actually there because the book was there. I forgot. <laughs> I'm done. But uh, yeah, let's just kind of open up the map. Look around real quick. So... This is what I have, like, mapped, but there's there's a lot more. There's, like, a vault up here somewhere. There's a lot more places just in the city that I never explored. There's probably a lot more, like, down this area. And, like, I think this is the, uh, this is the, uh -huh. This is the airport. I just can't go back there now. Uh, but there's probably more stuff down, like, right around here and whatnot. But there's still a lot that I've not explored. There's a lot of side quests that I missed. Oh, I'm going to reload my game uh, back, I think, actually, right before I, where was it at? It was right before we did the final, like, warning, you will, uh, uh, you can't go back now, kind of thing. Was it after this? Yeah, it was, like, right here, I think. It was right here. Yeah, right, this one right here was like, hey, if you uh, go past here, you're gonna, uh, you can't go back. This is point of no return. That was 24 hours in, and then four, five, six, seven. So it took three hours from the point of no return to actually finishing the game, it seems. But, uh, yeah, so it took me, yeah, roughly 27 hours. Like I said, the main NCR story would be. I think so. Not, not bad. There was a little bit of side quest action in there as well, uh, but it's not bad for a free mod. Uh, I'm assuming they'll re-release it, but they're apparently going to edit some stuff that was in it uh, because of drama with various developers uh, doing stupid stuff and that kind of stuff. But uh, I was like, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to continue playing the game the way that they originally intended it and all that kind of stuff. But uh, Yeah, well... I don't know. All in all, 5 out of 10, I think. At least just from playing the NCR one. Now, I am going to go on my own. I'm not streaming it, but I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and do the Crusader stuff uh, myself without um, streaming it, because I want to just kind of like take it by my own pace and not feel rushed. I want to like do other stuff. Like, whenever I see something, I'm going to be like, ooh, a penny. You know, like, ooh, look, a piece of candy. And just kind of follow a trail of different stuff. Or when I'm, like, walking down the street, I want to like, be like, oh, a building that I've not seen before. Enter and, like, clear it out. Uh, which is not always as exciting as doing story quests and stuff like that. So I'm going to do that all on my own off stream. Uh, so the game might be better with a different story. Um, but the NCR one and the stuff that I did so far was a 5 out of 10. I would say. Uh, the, the guy who did the NCR quest line, uh, and apparently it was one guy who was like, I'm going to write the entire NCR quest line, yada yada. Um, he did a good job of the first bit. The last bit, not so much. The last bit really dropped off. Uh, I think that the downhill mark was really the, uh, the Enclave Space Station. Um, after that, everything just started to make no sense. 
and it was like weird and it, like, let's be honest even going up to the enclave space station made no sense okay and i pointed it out when it was like that i was like they're evacuating why don't we just like leave but then again if we did leave then of course uh we would not get the rangefinder. Rancor wouldn't be able to have it and do all that stupid nonsense at the end of the game, of course. So, like, yeah. But, uh... Yeah. But the side quests were good, so that's what gives it a couple extra points. Otherwise, just the NCR quest by itself, probably a 3 out of 10. Um, just simply because, like I said, if, if you have half of a good story and the other half sucks, especially the climax and the ending of it sucks then what's what's the point of having a story at all? Like, the climax and the ending are supposed to be, like, the high points of your story, but you uh, instead just have the good parts being the first bit. <laughs> it's kind of kind of fucked up, right? Um, anyway, I feel like I'm just kind of rambling on here, as I always do, you know. But anyway, we'll, uh, we'll wrap things up for today, everyone. So thank you all for stopping by. And watching. And tomorrow, I have no fucking idea what we're going to be playing. Unfortunately. Um, there's a couple of things we could play. It's just kind of a filler thing. Maybe I can find another game to like just start a, a nice campaign on or something. But I have no idea. There's no, no good games have come out recently that I've been like, I really want to play this game. Kind of thing. This was like uh, the one new thing that came out that I've been like, yeah, I'm cool on that. Other stuff that I'm kind of halfway into um, already, which wouldn't make good... I don't think it would be good to stream stuff like Valheim, which I'm already, like, three bosses in. It wouldn't really make sense to people who are just kind of joining and seeing what the hell's going on. Also, Valheim, great game, by the way. If you want, like, a kind of a Viking Minecraft survival kind of game, it's not Minecraft-ish. It's Minecraft in the fact that it's kind of open world and you can, like, build stuff and mine resources and stuff like that, but uh, Valheim's great. The, the graphics are, like, really low, but like, it, it fits. It works. It's good. I've been playing a lot of that lately. Uh, and I'm probably going to play that after this. So, um, yeah, but all in all, so far, the Frontier hasn't lived up to the hype. But we'll see how that goes. But we might just play some balloons or something tomorrow. I don't know. But we'll figure something out. So thank you all for hanging out. And I'll catch you all later. Buh, bye for now. And I could have ended it and gone to my ending screen. But never mind. But catch you all later. Bye.